This interesting little circular device that sits on my shelf in the living room is actually a light switch. And in my opinion, this is by far the coolest light switch I have ever seen. So check it out. This is the Philips Hue Tech. Okay, let me just say right off the bat that since this is a Hue branded product, it will only work inside the Hue ecosystem. So that means in order to make use of this product, you will need at least one Hue bulb and one bridge. Diving right into the product, you will immediately notice that there are three circular buttons on the front. These are buttons two, three, and four, but there are actually four buttons on this switch. The first button is the whole face itself. These four buttons are programmable. You can set them to switch your bulbs to certain scenes, and each one of these buttons can have their own unique scenes. So say you have button one to turn on your lights to their usual color, you can program it so that button two turns it off. And then maybe button three will turn them all blue. The possibilities are endless. But what's more interesting than the programmable scenes is what's available inside Hue Labs. Now you can access Hue Labs via your computer and connect it to the bridge, but recently they added Hue Labs to the app via an update. So if you have the updated version of the app, you can access Hue Labs from there. Hue Labs has a number of experimental features that involves the Hue tap, but the two I use are the dimmer and the toggle. Toggle is straightforward. Basically, you press the button, it toggles the light on, you press it again and it toggles it off. The reason why this is not a feature right out of the box is just due to the way that the tap works. Hopefully it will be included in an update in the future, but for now you can access it via Hue Labs. The dimmer feature allows you to toggle through intervals of brightness using one button alone. I think there are like four intervals and you can set these up yourself, but by default, it goes from 100% to 75% to 50 and then 25 and then zero before it cycles through again. Now, unfortunately, I think this is due to the way that the switch is built, but sometimes when you press a button, it just doesn't work or it produces a different effect. Like I would press button number three and then it would toggle button number one. The switch comes with a cradle, which can be mounted to any surface using the holes that you can drive a screw through or via the 3M adhesive command strips on the back. You see, on the back of the switch, there are no wires. That's because this is not meant to replace your traditional light switch. It's meant to work alongside it. Now you can easily dock your tap by simply twisting it into the cradle, like that. Reverse that to undock it, and you can use it like a remote. The range on the switch, well, I can't say much about it because I live in a condo and it's not very big in here, but I can pretty much activate it from any corner of the house. Once it's docked, you can pretty much use it like a light switch on the wall except I have it on the shelf here, which is why I think it's so cool. The buttons all have a pretty long travel distance. What that enables this device to do is when you tap down on it, there is enough movement to generate a little bit of electricity that will send a signal out from the switch. So this thing does not require batteries. That is awesome. Philips has another switch that costs a little less and it's a little less capable, but I think what separates this switch the most it's just due to the fact that this doesn't require a battery and that one requires a coin cell battery that you have to replace every now and again. This one, you can just install it and forget all about the maintenance. And I think it is that feature that makes this the coolest light switch in my opinion. So currently my setup looks like this. The main switch toggles the two lights here in the living room. One's off camera right now, but see, toggle. Button number two sets the bulbs to this specific color right here. We'll get back to that in a second. Button number three, I like to call this nightlife. I'm not sure why. Using button number two, I can set it back to what it was before. And then button number four, it doesn't actually control these two bulbs here. Across the room, I have another Philips Hue controlled bulb, and this actually toggles in that one. So that's it for this video about the Hue tap switch. I love this product. I actually have two in the house right now. One's in the living room, one's in my mom's room. I want another one for this studio space. I think it is worth every penny just because it generates its own electricity. I mean, check this out. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.